So, power is defined as amount of work done, amount of work done per unit time. That is power. Think about power P equal to work by time, W by T. So, if you, if you see the CGS unit of power, work CGS unit is erg, time is second, so erg per second. SI unit if you see of power, work unit is joule, the time is second, joule per second. But you know, this joule per second can also be taken as watt, W A T T watt, capital W. If I can write 1 W equal to 1 joule per second. Watt is the unit of SI unit of power and this Watt is the name of a great scientist called James Watt. We are taking his name as the unit of the power. So, we will understand that power P equals to work by time. Remember, power is not only amount of work done per unit time. Power is the amount of energy consumed per unit time also. So, power can be written as energy by time. Energy means it may be kinetic energy by time or it may be potential energy by time. All are same. So, this is the first equation I am giving to you. This is the second equation I am giving to you. So, another beautiful equation I will give you now. Power P equal to work by time. Work is nothing but force into displacement by time. See, this equation 1. Work formula is force into displacement. I have written force into displacement by time by time. Now, if you observe carefully, displacement by time, you know this formula and it is nothing but velocity. So, power is also called force into velocity, F into V. So, third equation. So, power has got three formulas, work by time, energy by time or power equal to force into velocity. Okay, let us do some numericals to apply the power formula in applications. Numerical 1. A person performs 420 joules of work in 5 minutes. Calculate power delivered by him. So, 420 joules of work. So, work W equal to 420 joules time T equal to 5 minutes. Remember, always you have to convert the time into seconds. It may be minutes, it may be hours, it may be days, it may be weeks, it may be years. In the physics, you have to convert them into seconds. So, 5 minutes means 5 into 60 which is 300 seconds. So, power formula P equal to W by T. So, W is 420 joules, time is 300 seconds. 0, 0 is cancelled and 3 10 jar and this is how much? 3 14 jar. So, 14 by 10 joule per second. So, answer is power P equal to 1.4 watts. I can write joule per second, I can write watt. Second numerical. A woman does 520 joules of 520 joules of work in 10 seconds and a boy does a work of 100 joules in 4 seconds. Who delivers more work? Sorry, who delivers more power? Right. So, first start with women. Women power, power P equals to, see, work time, work by time. So, work is 520 joules by time is 10 seconds. So, this is 52 watts, women's case. 
now see the boy case power p equal to he done 100 joules of work 100 joules by time is 4 seconds so again how much is 25 watts so boy has performed 50, boy has delivered 25 watts women delivered 52 watts so who is greater then you know that the greater power is women's power so women's power is greater than boy's power now go for another numerical third one the numerical is like this there is a car it's a toy car you have applied a force f equals to 10 newtons on the toy car and the car move with a velocity 0 0.5 meters per second so then what is the power of the car then power f equals to you can't write w by t because work is not given time is not given but you know the another formula of power force into velocity p equal to f into v so 10 into 0 0.5 so nothing but 5 watts